and to share stories across different groups, across different generations and ages. Um, and so I think it was a very meaningful conversation. Racism, ignorance, and diversity in Tippecanoe County. Where do we stand? Good evening. I'm Nicole Kahn. Good to have you with us tonight. It's a widely debated topic, but some people say racism and hatred towards minority groups is on the decline. News Channel 18's Aaron Leedy has more about a forum tonight and why the issue seems to be on the decline locally. Aaron? Well, Nicole, good evening. The fact that racism is rising or declining could be widely debated, but the people who spoke tonight say diversity locally is expanding. I think we need to be honest about the fact that racism has is changed. It's more subtle, it's more subdued, it's, it's, it's a little more camouflaged, but it's still, it's still alive. Speaking to a crowd of nearly 30 people, Hannah Community Center Director Dwayne Moffitt spoke about racism, an issue he feels is still a problem, but no longer looms as large as the country. If you go around the country, we still have a better environment here, in my opinion, anywhere else in the country. Four speakers addressed the crowd as part of the 30th annual Holocaust Conference, a week-long event in Greater Lafayette. These groups are going to get together and work on solving community problems with each other. Each presenter focused on a separate issue. For some, discrimination is no longer a black and white issue. Pride Lafayette President Ashley Smith focused on the gay and lesbian community. There's still a great fear in the community, in the state, um, in the U.S. about fear of LGBT individuals. Lafayette is home to the only all-inclusive LGBT Pride Center in Indiana, something Smith would like to see more of across the state. One thing that I would like to accomplish this year would be to have some sort of summit with other community organizations. Lisa Hanasano is currently writing a dissertation partly on how family and friends can help those targeted by discrimination. I think something that we continue to do in our classes as well as in the curriculum, you know, we try to continue that education process and hopefully encourage our students to take that back to their own homes, their own communities. And and the evening ended with a question and answer session. The diversity discussion has been held for many years during the annual Holocaust Conference. Prohofsky says it will continue to be a part of it as long as it's an issue. Aaron Leedy, News Channel 18.